Lovely. So you are, and you have been, a volunteer with Dyslexia Scotland. Yes, I certainly am. Uh, can you tell me a bit about what that involves? Yeah, um, what I do is I help the helpline for Dyslexia Scotland. So we advise from anything from primary schools, further education, secondary, and supporting adults within the workplace. So it's a broad, broad range of help and support for dyslexia. And what kind of support do people ask for? They're usually asking what is a reasonable adjustment, which is a very, very broad subject, you know, because it is really up to the individual and how they are struggling with dyslexia to knowing what they're needing is a reasonable adjustment. So yeah, if, if somebody with dyslexia says to their boss or their school or, or, or whatever it is, I need a reasonable adjustment, and their boss says, well, we've given you a reasonable adjustment, how do you measure reasonable? Yeah, this is the big, big problem with being dyslexic, because, you know, what that is the biggest question, what is a reasonable adjustment? Because a reasonable adjustment can be anything from a change of font for a person to make it easier to read to expensive assistive technology. It all depends on how they are struggling and what they are needing to be able to be supported within that area. Yeah, and how does Dyslexia Scotland help with the uh, for, with these questions? How does it pro provide help? Well, we've got a range of um, information uh, sheets which we provide for people through We've got the Learning Support Act of 2004, so we'll tell parents about children in the law, how, they, how a parent or a teacher can support somebody within the classroom, student support systems for further education, um, access to work. You mentioned an act from 2004. Now what's really interesting is in England and Wales they use um, particular kinds of laws and, and acts is, this, is the political situation the same in Scotland? Do you have different uh, requirements? Do you have different laws? Is, is it the same system as the, the whole of the UK? Or is the Scottish system slightly different? The Scottish system is slightly different. So, because we edu the way we educate our children um, through different various means, there is different things for and that is why they came up with the Learning Support Act to support the neurodiverse community and giving kids reasonable adjustments within schools because every child is different, you know, they're going to have different struggles. So allowing teachers to understand those struggles and if basically a school is not following that or they're just fobbing parents off we'll tell them, look, there is a Learning Support Act, please go to your local council, ask, because we can't keep up with every single council that's in Scotland and the way they've interpreted uh, educational law. So we say to them, and if they're still, if the school's still not going for that, then we will advise them to go for independent education, which means the government are going to go in. Yeah. and actually investigate and ask the questions why children are not being supported within the school environment. So there's no consistency between the different councils no, no. and the government sometimes has to yes. essentially put its foot down? Yes, it does. 